Good morning, Longhorns. Today is the very last day of August. We made it. It's been a hot month, hadn't it? I tell you. So today is August 31st, 2023, and we have one birthday, and that is Sawyer, and she is in K1. So happy birthday, Miss Sawyer. Come on down to the office so we can celebrate the wonderfulness that is you. There you go. All right, I have a poem today. I do, I do. I really kind of like this poem. It's kind of funny. Okay, I have to tell you a secret though. One of my favorite things is cookies. I love cookies. Oh my gosh, I love cookies. And this appeals to me. Who Invented Cookies? By Joan Bransfield Graham. What clever hungry person took little dabs of dough, spooned them out on pans to bake, and lined them up just so, then popped them in the oven to blossom soft and gooey, turning into tasty treats all fragrant, yum, and chewy. So when we list inventions, mmm, this is one to savor. Guess it didn't change the world, but wow, it gave flavor. That is, I like that. I like that. I like cookies. Anyway, I think I'll go have a cookie. Everybody have a great day and keep reading. Good morning. My name is Emma Jane. Will you please stand for the United States Pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Story. Please remain standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. My name is Ben. My name is Rico. Please join us in saying the Lake State Pledge. I am respectful to others. I am responsible for self. I am honest and kind. I will take initiative and persevere. Follow us. We are the Excited Longhorns. Have a thrilling birthday. Morning Longhorns, it's Mrs. Warren, and it's time for this week's episode of Thinking Thursday. Today I'd like to introduce you to a new New York Times puzzle that I've really been enjoying playing. It's called Connections, and for you adult, it's still in beta testing, but I'm really enjoying this one, and it always gives my brain a workout. So my lakeside version of this game, Connections, looks like this. To play, there are 16 words, and you can see all of them on the screen at one time. And your job is to find, to make four groups of four words that are connected in some way. The real challenging part is that sometimes the words look like they could go into more than one group. So you need to think about what are the best groups so that all the words are connected to their group. So let's read the words in the puzzle that I've made for you today. I see the word math, bicycle, library, bus, draw, cafeteria, science, playground, scooter, write, classroom, reading, sing, social studies, car, and run. As I read those words, did you see or hear any words that you thought were connected, four words that were connected in some way? Can you find some other groups of four words that are connected in some way? I'm gonna give you a second to turn and talk to a neighbor. Maybe they'll have an idea that you haven't thought of yet. Compare notes, 
what are four words that can be connected? Can you find all four groups of words and find the connection that I was thinking of? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you guys are off to a great start. I'm hearing some good ideas. Yep. Yeah. You're right, that word could go with other words. Uh-huh. Keep it up. Yeah. Great thinking, Longhorns. Okay, I know that was pretty fast, but we'll go ahead and finish this puzzle up together. I'll start with the word math. Did you notice any other words that might be connected to the word math? <laughs> yeah, I did too. I thought the word science might be connected with math. And what else did you think went with that word? Oh, yeah. Okay, social studies. I'll go get it. Nice job. Okay, and one more. We need four. <laughs> I'm going to pick reading as well. That was a good connection. Hey, how are all those words connected? Yeah, they're all things we study at school. They're subjects in school. But you might have thought the word reading was connected to the word library. Did you think that? Yeah. They do go together. We do enjoy reading in the library, but library actually is gonna be another category. I'm gonna turn this category blue. What else do you think goes with library? <laughs> Great, I think cafeteria goes there too. Ah, if you weren't thinking this, I bet you are now. What else goes in this group? Classroom, mm-hmm. And the last one? Ah, good job, Longhorns. It's playground. How are all four of those words connected? Yeah, that's right. They're all places around our school that kids can hang out and do things that we do at school. Great thinking. Okay, so, well, well we got eight words left and we need to make two groups of four. What do you wanna put together? Okay, all right, great, let's go with bus. I'll turn it green. Okay, that looks good. What else goes with the bus category? Okay, bike, I like it. We'll do bicycle. It's green. Yeah, okay, what else goes there? Yeah, okay, car can go in that category. It's connected, and tell me the last one. Yeah, a scooter. Hey, why do you think these words are all connected together? <laughs> yeah, of course, they all have wheels. There's something else they have in common that's related to school. What else do they have in common? They're all ways that kids might get to school, ride our bike, ride our scooter, take a bus, come in a car. If I put the word walk on the board, that might have been a little trickier to figure out where the word walk went because you can get to school that way, but it doesn't have wheels, right? Okay, we're left with four words, so they obviously go together. Draw, write, sing, and run. But what is the connection between those words, among those words? Ah, uh, are you talking it out? What does your neighbor think? Yeah, okay, all right. Well, I was thinking that those words are all connected because they're things that you do in specials class. We draw in art, we sing in music, we might write in any of our classes, maybe especially in STEAM if we're making a plan or a design for something, and we run in PE. That's how I thought those words were connected. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this connection puzzle. I've made one more for you and I'll put a copy of it in your teacher's box along with the connections that I thought. The theme of this puzzle is kind of science to get us started at the beginning of the year. So in this puzzle, you're gonna see the word people, rain, sun, hard, trees, soft, flowers, clouds, rough, animals, snow, sleet, rainbow, hail, furry, airplane. What connections do you think you can make? Four groups of four. I hope you enjoyed connections. This has been another good idea for some really great thinking with Mrs. Warren. I'll see you guys soon.